Hey guys, it is Monday again. How does that keep happening? Monday just keeps coming. And it is January 28th-ish. You can never see the date on my Fitbit. I see everything else, but not the date. So, um, I know that I've been <clears throat> MIA for a while. Here's the funny thing. Um, I've made videos along the way, but I either <clears throat> am driving home and like my nephew calls or, man, my throat this morning. <clears throat> Sorry. Or I start to think about my content that I'm producing right then and I'm like, eh, nobody wants to see this. And I just stop. So um, I've been struggling with that for a while with making videos and not putting them up. Um, and I think part of the reason is I know that a lot of people don't like car vlogs and that's really right now and in this moment all the time I have to talk to you guys is in the car. So um, I have an hour drive to work and an hour drive home and once I get home I'm done and once I get to work I'm busy. So, you know, and weekends you know, um, I'd like to say that we're doing something exciting on weekends, but we're really not, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so anyway, I, I apologize for the car vlogs, but for right now, that's all I've got, and if you want to see me, that's where I am, and I will do better once things settle down a little bit. Um, so it is Monday, like I said. This coming Friday, I'm supposed to start my new job. Who starts a job on a Friday? Sorry about the lighting and the fact that my phone doesn't want to um, come into focus. Um, but anyway, I guess you can drive while you're listening to me. That's what I do. I drive and listen to other people's YouTubes or clean the bathroom or whatever. And um, you don't have to really watch me. You can just listen. Um, but anyway, um, so this, this coming Friday I'm supposed to start my new job. However, the, the kind of rule is in our county is that you do not have a suitable replacement for you. Your boss, your principal, <coughs> can request that you start up to two weeks later. And at first, I was okay with that because I was like, all right, I, you know, I really like where I am and, and whatever. But now, you know, I've packed my office and I've kind of said my goodbyes, if you will. And um, I'm, I'm sort of done with what I'm doing at this position and I'm ready to start my new one. And I really don't want to have to wait. And that's been causing me some stress. Um, I got, you know, this always burns me up. So I got an email at 4.30 on Friday from HR telling me I needed to add something to um, an, ap an application that I put in for a pool that I want to be in. And I called both, they were references, and I called both people and they were both like, yeah, we sent them. So they had to resend them and they had to redo them, which is such a pain in the butt. I mean, it doesn't take long, but it's such a pain in the butt. And both of these people are high profile people. So it's not like I'm asking, you know, some random person who doesn't have, who has a tons of time. You know, these people are, are big in our county and, and don't have time to do this. So luckily they both answered me and both said that they would redo it. Um, so, but you know, you get the email at 4 30 and, and by the time you call HR, they're closed for the weekend. So I've been stressing about that all weekend. I got to call them today to make sure that they got both of the, um, references. So those are done. Um, so that's off my plate a little bit. So full disclosure, let me tell you about our weekend. So Friday, Norm and I were talking and we have quite a few things in our house that need to be done, updated or fixed or whatever. And we kind of prioritize some of these. Oh my gosh, this thing just will not stay in focus because of the light. Um, so we kind of prioritize like what needs to get done and how much it's going to cost and that type of thing. Um, and you know, we both kind of said these things are important. And then we both also sort of said, you know, we're spending a lot of money eating out. Now we are 
pseudo empty nesters. And what I mean by that is Carly stays most of her nights at the fire station. She's a volunteer firefighter. And Danny is, you know, when she comes in, she's a waitress. She comes in late and then back up for school or whatever. Um, plus she has a boyfriend and she's 20 years old. So, you know, she's never home. And so we've been enjoying kind of no one being home and ha not having to, um, cook for them. So we eat out a lot. So we both kind of have said that, you know, we're spending a lot of money eating out. Plus I'm having a hard time. Sorry. I have an itch like on my arm and I couldn't get to it. We're having a hard time. Um, I am tracking my food <clears throat> because when you eat out, you know, you tell them, I don't want oil or I don't want butter. Or, I don't want this. And you can't really be sure that they are, um, really doing what you ask. So we talked about going kind of one week without eating out every night. Now I'm not saying we won't eat out at all. I'm just saying without eating out every night. We've tried this before. If you've watched me long enough and you know, we suck at it. And what I've done in the past is I have meal prepped. I've meal prepped on a Sunday, froze everything or put it in the refrigerator ready to go. And then what happens is Tuesday when I say, okay, it's meatloaf day or it's spaghetti day or whatever. We both look at each other and go, we don't want that. So he wanted to do a diet ish thing that he did years ago, which is the special K chocolate diet. He eats that for dinner every night. And then the lunch that I prepare him, which for him is chicken salad, um, like a lighter version of chicken salad. Um, and that's his whole day. And he lost a lot of weight doing that. So I was, he said cereal and my head went, mm, I miss cereal. I haven't had cereal in a long time. Could I do a cereal for a whole week? So I agreed to do it with him. I found two cereals that are two points per cup. One was the multi-grain Cheerios and the other one is the special K with, um, the strawberries in it. So I do two cups, which is four points. I'm okay with that cause it's dinner and one cup of almond milk, which is one point. It's like an unsweetened almond milk, which is totally fine. So it's like a nine point dinner, but my dinners normally are in the 15 point range. So I'm okay with that. Um, plus it's a lot of fiber and whatnot. So I also am doing a detox that I've kind of made up myself. Um, I've watched everybody do the TV detox and I got to tell you, I just can't justify spending that amount of money on, um, tea. You know, I love tea. I drink tea but the amount of money that tea me costs. And I'm sure it's delicious tea. I'm sure that it's high quality tea. I just can't justify spending that kind of money on it. Um, so what I did is I have a, a tea that helps me move things along and it's called Smooth Move. And it's one of those, it's the medicinal teas that you get in the grocery store. And then there's another one called Weight Loss or Weightless or Weight something. And it's a cranberry flavor. And what I've decided to do is to do the cranberry, which kind of does a de bloat thing, um, for two days in a row. And then the smooth move on the third day or do it every other, depending on what's going on with my body along with the, the cereal diet. So we started the cereal diet on Saturday night and I'll tell you why we decided Saturday night and not like Monday, like other people do. Um, Saturday we decided to go out for lunch and we pull into this brand new restaurant we have never been in before and we're both like oh this is nice it has a little bit of everything we looked up the menu online I knew exactly what I was going to get and as we walk in we notice they're having brunch on a Saturday and it is a brunch buffet for $20 and the brunch buffet was longer than my house and don't you know we got it and don't you know we ate like fools Hang on, I gotta get gas. Okay, I'm done getting gas. So anyway, where was I? So we went to this buffet, right? And um, gas cap open. Have to do that. Leave the gas cap open. So we went to this buffet, and. Um, 
you know, the people, the lady, we walk in and we see that there's this huge buffet. And it's like noon, so we're thinking, okay, they're gonna be taking it down soon anyway, so whatever. And <laughs> they're like, oh no, it's up until two. So we're like, uh -huh. So it was 20 bucks, and it literally had every breakfast food you could possibly imagine on it, plus all different kinds of um, lunch food. You know, it had a lot of shrimp and mussels and um, oysters and things like that. So. I would love to tell you that I made perfect Weight Watchers choices and I could have, I could have because there were salads and raw or not raw shrimp. There was steamed shrimp. Um, there was oysters, there was chicken. Um, there were all kind of fruits and vegetables. There were eggs, which I'm sure had butter in them, but still, I mean, I could have, I could have completely been a good Weight Watcher. I was not a good Weight Watcher because while I had a bite of everything I wanted to try, and I mean that, like I had a spoonful, and I don't mean a serving spoon, I mean like a tablespoonful of grits. I had like a tablespoon full, they had a chicken Alfredo or a shrimp Alfredo. I had like a tablespoon of that. I had one uh, mozzarella ball, which was like this big with a tomato. So I had a bite of everything I wanted, um, but then the desserts and I had a cannoli and I had, and there was a mini cannoli and a, it was a mini rice pudding and there were mini cakes and I had a couple. So I was not being a Weight Watcher right then. I didn't care. Everything tasted good. It was 20 bucks. I was happy. We were laughing. I zeroed out my points plus a little couple or more because whatever I ate the rest of, I called that brunch 23 points. I'm sure that it was more, but, and then I counted the rest of what I had that day, which was just the cereal, which is why we had the cereal because, um, we both felt terrible by the end of the day. I mean, we ate that at like one o'clock we were done. We left there maybe one thirty, Um, and we didn't want to eat dinner until like seven and we're usually early dinner people we're five five thirty dinner people um and it was like seven when we decided to eat um because we were not hungry at all so um so yeah it was a delicious buffet but also a terrible um weight watcher moment for me. But because of that, we both kind of said we need to get this. Um, we need to jumpstart on our weight loss. Number one, number two, we both need to, um, kind of rein in our spending when it comes to eating out. Now that doesn't mean we're not going to eat out because we are. But the other thing is we have been discontent with our choices eating out, which is why on Saturday we went to a restaurant we had never been to before because we were like, hmm, we've never been there. Let's try it. Because the places we are going, we're not satisfied. We're, the food is bland at best. It's, um, it's okay. Not worth the money. We're not enjoying it. Um, you know, we go to the diner and it's not that expensive. So we expect kind of what we're getting. You know what I mean? It's, it's not, it's diner food. We're not expecting Ruth's Chris or a steakhouse or something like that. We are expecting what we get. We go to a Chinese place, same thing, you know? Um, but we're getting to the point where even our favorites are kind of like, eh, you know? Um, we even went somewhere the other day, and I don't remember where it was, where we both said the food was good, but it wasn't worth what we paid for it. I can't remember where that was. We're like, we have no complaints about the food, but the, the price is just too much. So I don't remember where that was, but whatever. So, you know, I've been texting Norman, been like, well, whatever we want for dinner tonight needs to be different. And he's like, I don't know what different is. Like, we tried every restaurant around us. We've gone everywhere. Like, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't even know. And then when we do go someplace and I still try to eat Weight Watchers ish, I still end up getting a salad with shrimp on top or a salad with chicken on top or a chicken sandwich. And I take off the roll, you know, like that kind of thing. So, 
you know, even though I'm telling him I want to go different places, I'm not really eating different food. So I figured if I'm not eating different food or different places anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try this um, Special K Cheerios multi-grain cereal with bananas in it or blueberries or whatever I happen to have at the moment. So that is my plan. Um, I still have not gotten to Trader Joe's to get my macaroons, which is usually what my dessert is. So right now, um, I'm not really having a dessert at night. So that's going to have to change. I'm going to have to go to Trader Joe's sometime this week. Um, I brought with me today, um, I have one in three containers. If I get a chance, I'll take a picture of it. It is one of those Asian chopped salad bags. It's like half of one of those with... Um, shredded chicken because I made Norm um, chicken salad and I pull out like some of the shredded chicken and I mix that with corn and um, taco seasoning um, and put that on top of my salad so that's zero points at that point but then I have the kit stuff that has the um, cheese and the what's it called the the strips and the dressing I'll put that on, but I'll, I will do very little of the strips or the cheese and um, the dressing. So it'll just be enough for like two points. So that'll be two points. I have two points of Trader Joe's chicken cilantro wontons. So that ends up being four points. Plus I have some fruit and that is my lunch for the day. And then tonight my cereal is nine. So what did I just say? That's nine, 10, 11, 12. Be 13-ish points for the day. I'm sure that I'll end up with 20, but what I'm trying for is I'm trying to make sure that I get my four rollovers um, every day this week. That's my goal. So having started the detox tea, if you will, and the um, cereal, we've done two nights in a row now, I am down in those two days 0.8 pounds. So um, we'll see what happens. The... Um, Detox tea, I know that the smooth move works because I took that Friday night and it worked Saturday. Yesterday I drank the weight loss, weight list, weight, whatever. And um, I feel like it de-bloated me a little bit. Um, it's got cranberry in it, but I don't know that it really does too much. But I don't drink it with anything. I drink it black, as they say. Um... And so it's not really adding anything but maybe some water to me if, you know, um, if it's not doing anything at all. But I just thought this was a good week to kind of de-bloat, um, get everything back to normal, keep my lunches real low at four, between four and six points, keep my dinners real low, and um, kind of jumpstart and see what happens. I would like to, at the end of this week, um, be down two or three pounds. I don't know that that's going to happen, but that is what I would like to see happen. And, um, Norm's opinion is if it works, maybe we keep doing the cereal diet for a while, the cereal uh, dinners for a while. You still eat out every now and then, but you know, for the most part have cereal and save that money for some things that have to be done around the house. So that's our goal. So anyway, that's all I got for right now. I will show you my lunch if I get a chance later and you don't really need to see the cereal, but if you want to, I'll show it to you and I will talk to you guys soon. If you haven't liked, subscribed and shared, please do those things.